Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Alright, another entry here based on one of your suggestions. This one, one of the past suggestions over a year ago, if you could believe that. I kind of hate, love to going back in time for these suggestions because it's great to look back on them, find the ones that I miss, but at the same time, it's, it reminds me of how quickly time goes. This one was already over a year ago, so just it was almost like it was just yesterday. But in any case, the reason I picked this one was because in looking at the information, it reminded me of my cat Tum Tum, my precious little cat Tum Tum, and, and this, this cryptid just basically being an oversized version of my cat. So if you've ever followed my videos for a long time now every now and then periodically you'll hear my cat Tum Tum making a cameo appearance in my video she's the one usually uh, meowing in the background just doing the thing that cats always do they get in the way whenever you're trying to do anything at all but then of course they're just completely silent completely quiet when you're doing nothing but in this case this, this is her you've been looking at her right now this is my baby my precious little Tum Tum so very very happy to have her and so I picked this one because in looking at how it uh, the design is the color the stripes of this cryptid it just reminded me of her so thank you so much for the suggestion and it has to do with this uh, this is the creature itself you're looking at it now it has a unique name it's almost like they were missing a vowel somewhere in there but it's called the Manigua if I'm saying that correctly M-N-G-W-A that's essentially how it's spelled but for all intents and purposes I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call it the Nunda because that is yet another version of its name much more easier to pronounce so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that version here so what is this Nunda well, it is a creature. Basically, it's an oversized feline, gigantic in some cases, the size of a donkey, if you can believe it, that's found there in Tanzania. So imagine your average-sized feline, maybe like a cat, or something along those lines, but oversized, supersized, like they took the uh, one-up mushroom there from Super Mario Brothers and just became larger. This thing happens to roam those lands there in Tanzania, in fact, for a long time, since the early 1900s as well. And with regards to its characteristics, it looks like your average feline, but for two different things that are different. Number one, it's larger, like I mentioned earlier. And then number two, it has this hair that's on it that's completely gray, bristled on the top so standing upright very very I guess you call it prickly and then also it has those black stripes very very unique not unlike any other feline that's out there any other type of feline I mean you look at your average lion your average tiger maybe a panther all of them have a distinct look but none of them seem to be in terms of this grayish and blackish design it looks like a like a version of a, I guess a calico cat uh, just like my cat Tum Tum so that's why essentially why I picked this one in the first place but yes it does have that very pronounced prickly hair on top of its shoulders on top of its back towards its neck it looks very majestic when you see uh, when I would imagine it would look very majestic when you see that in motion so that was quite interesting to find that too this creature um, is found again in Tanzania and it's not something you want to come across because it's known to be a man-eating creature responsible for several attacks in fact there have been tracks found um, in this case leading I guess to uh, situations, tragic situations, and people have surmised that it is this, this Nanda, that created uh, the attacks, or in some cases actually killed some people as well. Some of the encounters, in fact, as far as evidence, uh, you go to 1938, there was a scientific journal called Discovery, and within it, there was a guy named William Hitchens who was able to report from several natives from that area there in Tanzania how and when they were attacked by this Nunda creature. And so the way he was describing, uh, he was writing down the information that they were describing, he surmised that it was a different breed, something else entirely different, some kind of man-eating lion, but that had different fur and different tracks. In fact, there was yet another encounter of some sort, a guy by the name of Patrick Bowen, who a hunter who tracked this Nunda right there in Tanzania. I guess he was either trying to capture it or most likely trying to uh, 
kill it to because it would be one of the most ultimate prizes of all for those avid hunters out there and he himself when he was uh, later on describing what he saw he stated that these tracks were much much larger whatever this nundo was much larger than your average feline like let's say a leopard something else like a more conventional feline no in this case these tracks were absolutely much larger no indication though as far as if he ever caught this thing most likely not otherwise it would have appeared in that magazine that he was interviewing, uh, being an interview for called Nature Parade, but um, it, he still was able to, I guess, state his eyewitness account of the type of, 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 of tracks that this thing does. And then also there was yet another set of attacks in some cases uh, reported in the 19th century uh, if you wanted to go back a little bit earlier too. But those may be uh, involved with yet another cryptid that I've talked about in the past known as the Nandi Bear. So this one uh, may be just uh, in this case a mixture of two cryptids in one or two separate cryptids but one being misinterpreted for the other but that's it that's pretty much all the information associated with this unique cryptid my dedicated cryptid here to the uh, my precious tum tum my beloved cat so uh, if anyone has any more info anything else they'd like to share that'd be really great to hear unfortunately like no real evidence really that could be posted like nobody has been able to I guess truly capture this creature taken I guess authentic photographs or even better some kind of live footage of it I think you've seen like for this one for example here it's supposed to be something involving a uh, supposed I guess picture of in this case the uh the, the Nanda cat, but the difference is it's black and white, it's very uh, sh uh, blitzed out, like it's it's kind of hard to see exactly what's there, it could just be any other feline so if there was any more better evidence that would be really, really, really great to share but otherwise that's it, I'll include the link too to the Nandi bear below, because again that's another one that I've talked about in the past so if you wanted to see a close resemblance, or maybe something involving a uh, creature that had also been, in this case, misinterpreted for the Nanda, that would be cool uh, really good to hear too and be on the lookout who knows um, every now and then you might see in this case or hear more likely my cat Tum Tum making yet another cameo appearance if you haven't had a chance to go to my Facebook page I do post pictures of her every now and then just doing her usual thing you know like cats do always nothing in terms of that they just simply just lie around all day long so I like to post pictures of her doing that but that is yet yeah, another way you can see more of her so alright everybody Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.